Hey everyone, today I'm going to be remodeling our apartment kitchen. As you can see, I've already done the backsplash above the stove, but that's because I forgot to get a clip of the before. So stick around, watch this video to see how I transform our apartment kitchen. So I am done for the day. I actually went ahead and added some contact paper here on this wall because that wall was painted like with the normal paint. And if you look over on this side of the kitchen, this is like a part of the cabinet. So I wasn't gonna do that part, but I think it turned out really good. I stuck, like I used a command strip to stick that up there. And I might get something else to like hang those up, but here is the backsplash. All right, so I started using this paper I had got from Amazon and you can see right through it. So that's a bummer. Don't buy this one if your countertops underneath are any type of pattern. All right, so I just got back from Target. I got this contact paper um, it's still the marble that I want to do in here, but I have a funny feeling this is going to be see-through too because it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but you can already see like the lines, like on the back of the paper, there's like li like grid lines to cut it and it's, you cannot see it on the video, but I promise you can see through to the grid lines. So I feel like if you can see the grid lines, you're going to be able to see this pattern. Okay, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to be able to tell really quickly if it's going to be see-through or not. Oh my gosh, it's like so thin. It's like super cheap feeling too. This one feels like straight up paper. The one from Amazon, it had like a glossy finish, but it was see-through, but at least it had the gloss finish. This is literally paper. slowing it down for a second to show you like how I'm actually doing it because if you are watching this to like learn how to do it then you're probably in the wrong place but you know what I'm just going to show you what I've been doing okay this is what I just did on the last part I unstuck see like an inch from the top so then I'm going to try and align it as best as I can with this area here. And I've been kind of putting it up a little bit further on the back, just so it's more forgiving. Okay, there you go. So, once you have it stuck like that, I know in the first part I said you have to go really slow and like do these kind of motions, but I take that back. Forget that. I'm gonna undo the whole sticker and like pull it as tight as I can, okay? So I'm gonna pull it like about 
all the way down. Then I'm going to pull it as hard as I can. Look, I just took the whole paper off. Oh, be careful you don't let it stick like that. Ah! Okay. Okay, yes. So now you're going to pull it as tight as you can, kind of looking at it, and then you're gonna stick it down. All right, now I can see there's like a, gonna, there would be a huge air bubble, so I'm just gonna kind of unstick it from that corner. And then I'm just gonna slowly, but not too slow, because you don't want to mess up, just put it down like that. So if you have some air bubbles in there that you can't really get out, this is what I was doing. I was just like putting like a tiny little hole with the X-Acto knife and then squeezing it out. And it just makes it look like a tiny little speck. It's not even noticeable and then you get your air bubbles out. kitchen, your house, whatever, let me tell you, don't, just don't. This is so hard. Um, I think it's going to look really good in the video, but I do not think it looks that good in person, if that makes sense. It's just like there's a lot of areas where I had to like go and fill in. It is not easy. The contact paper is not forgiving. It If it like gets like a little crease, it's ruined it doesn't look good so um i'm gonna just keep going because i've come this far but y'all it doesn't it's not as easy as i thought it would be i didn't think it would be easy but no one in any of the videos i watched on youtube no one said like it's so hard like i would advise not to do it yeah it's really really hard so i'm gonna keep going now and then I will show you guys the rest of the process. And then of course I will show you the finished product, but I've been at it for two hours and I've got a lot more to do. That is going to be it for tonight's video i hope you enjoyed i think the kitchen looks like a totally different kitchen i'll have everything linked below that i used today and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thanks you're